How's it going on guys? I'm Vinit Kimiri and in this video I'm going to show you how to design a Voyax HND Gurur circuit in Proteus and Proteus is a software that you will be using for the entire digital electronics simulation and in this video I'm going to show you how you can design the exact same circuit that I'm showing you right over here like this you can design the same circuit that I'm showing in this session right now after the end of this video so this is the logic state and this is a circuit, this is a decoder circuit and then this is the decoder and these are 16 LEDs and the 16 outputs from the decoder are pointed to each of these LEDs and there is this power and there is this ground for these two things and now let's play this thing and when everything is high the last output is going to blink you can see the last output is blinking and when this is zero this is going to blink and when this is zero this is going to blink and when this is one this is going to blink that's how it works and then this and this and for this one one is this one is going to blink and for the zero the last one is going to blink and this one is a power now i'm going to show you how you can do this same thing from the beginning so let's get started so i'm going to close this i'm going to close this i'm going to close the window and then i'm going to close the project okay i'm going to close the project and now i'm going to create a new project so click on schematic capture and then you will see something like this and now let's define a template size set sheet size and then this is going to be 15 inch and then we will be needing a decoder for x decoder 74154 is this this is a decoder you will be using and let's paste this okay let's paste this here and then we will be needing four LED red this is the LED red and then let's put this I think this is the LED. Oh, this is LED. Yes. So we'll put LED right like this. Okay, let's start from the end. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, these are system one and let's the next thing is to rotate, rotate this upward Why do I mirror and then rotate this Okay, rotate this and rotate this as well and rotate this as well and rotate this as well If you don't rotate then this is going to be wrong either you will have to point from the bottom or it will be wrong So make this up like this and make this up 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 I think everything is up now and the next thing is to point this to this thing okay now let's do this now we will just point this like this we will point this to this we will point this to this this is going to be here 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 okay it's going to be here and this is going to be here and this is going to be here so this does not look nice so let's do like this Let's make it in correct way. Now let's point this here. Let's point this in second last. This is going here and this is going to be here and then this is going to be in the fifth one. And now we'll be needing one power. For power, go to terminals mode and then click on power and then put the power like this. And then get this click on this 
okay and click on this thing and then take this to this one and take this to this one and take this to this one take this to this one just double click and it will happen automatically double click 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 this is what you will be doing and then we will be needing ground click on this and then get the ground here and here and like this and like this this is the ground and now you will be need, need, needing for logic state click on this and then type logic state and this is a logic state you can use switch or you can use logic state i'm going to use logic state and i'm going to press this here like this and let's rotate this okay and let's end the one and let's rotate this press in the one press in the one and rotate this thing and rotate this thing and then take this to click on this and then get this here and click on this and get this here okay so get this here and click on this and get this here and click on this and get this here i think the circuit is complete now these are the four input leds oh these are the four input logic states and these are 16 outputs and the 16 outputs are pointed to each of the 16 leds and this is a power and this is a ground and this is a decoder now it okay you need camera like this and you can also define center you can define style okay and now let's do this and let's use the segio font I like this font so I'm going to use this thing and then let's use this color and let's visible and then the height width happens okay okay this looks very huge so let's make this two inches okay this is still very I think this is going to be 0 0.5 and now this looks nice so i think it's correct and now let's try playing this and for this one the last one the first one is going to play for zero 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 let's see yes it is correct the first one is playing d1 is playing for zero 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 and when it is one the second one when it is one zero the third one when it is one one the fourth one when it is one zero zero fifth one one zero one sixth one and one seventh one and one on one eighth one and when it is one zero the ninth one is going to play you can see the ninth one is going to play and when it is one zero zero one eleven and twelve and thirteen and then fourteen and this is the fourteenth one and this is the fifteenth one and then this is the sixteenth one okay in one so you can see all are fine one two there are 16 leds and there are 16 there are four inputs so this is fine and for the one 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 the last one is playing so this is complete now you can also use switch instead of logic state these are logic states and these are 16 leds display the output for each of the 16 outputs and this is a power and this is the ground so this makes up the entire thing and thank you for watching this video and if you have designed a different circuit for 4x10 decoder than this make sure to comment and thank you for watching this video and if you are not able to do any of the
things that are mentioned in this video then please make sure to leave a comment and i will be happy to help you in solving the issue and thank you for watching this video and have a nice day goodbye